All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach My Smith. Pleasure. First of all, summarize, if you can, your long history you know, with Foley schools. Well, my daddy's first year as an assistant coach here was 1967. So that's all I've known uh, growing up was uh, Foley football. And uh, my daddy got the head job before I turned two. It's something I want to do, too. As a young person watching the teams play, like all my buddies playing cup ball back there, I was up in stands watching the game. <laughs> it's in college, my junior and senior year, I was a volunteer assistant. I would come home every uh, weekend and help a little bit on game days. And wasn't much help, but it was a lot of fun for me being around it. Always humble. <laughs> 1990, I uh, came back as a, a full-time teacher at the middle school. I was here for 16 years as the head coach and, uh, and really, really had a great time doing it. So how many Foley football games do you think you've, you've witnessed in your lifetime? I'd say from the time I was four, I probably went to every football game. From 71 to 85, I was at every game, except for a few exceptions, so 150 games there. I went to every game, every game, varsity game, up through 2004. I, I don't know. Yeah, hundreds of games. Hundreds of games. <laughs> you, you've helped hundreds of kids. Um, but I'd like to know who has influenced you um, in football and in life. Well, you're, you're kind to say that, first of all. <laughs> I hope that's, that there's some truth to that, but uh, without a doubt, as far as uh, people in my life, my biggest influence has been my dad. You know, I guess from a very young age, uh, I mean, he's somebody I've always admired. You know, when you, you go in the community and it used to really impress me, the, the just the effect that he had on, on them. You know, I, I wanted to do that same thing. You know, hopefully win some ball games. That was definitely a, a big objective and a big desire, but uh, more than that is, is making a difference. When the, the dust is settled and the final whistle blows and uh, the game is over, it is just a game. It is just a game. And uh, sometimes I forget that. It's not like we did. It brings me a lot of joy to, uh, uh, to see former players like yourself and others that uh, are doing well and, and uh, doing a lot with their lives and that sort of thing. You know, that's the goal and that's that's why we're in the business is to try to impact people over their lives and uh, try to make their lives better. 